Some time ago, I wanted to build a camera stand to shoot video in a faster, more comfortable way in my studio slash workshop, and now I finally finished it. I'm going to use it with the pistol grip ball head I used to attach to my tripod, making it much more versatile. As you can see, I can adjust the camera's height and also tilt it thanks to this lockable tilt head. I wanted it to be compact, both in height and in how much space it takes up on the floor, so that it wouldn't get in the way too much and to speed up the recording process. I'm mainly going to use it to record on a short height range, above my work tables, but sometimes I want to get overhead shots of the object, such as in this case. It will also come in handy when recording overhead footage of my work table. I have some more range for those occasions where I need a little more height than usual. I've placed a 5 kilogram weight plate on the bottom of the stand to act as a counterweight, more than enough for this setup. Thanks to the pistol grip ball head, I can also shoot from many other angles, and even tilt the steel pipe all the way until it almost touches the ground, so I can record from there. Afterwards, all I have to do is flip the footage on a video editor. In order to be able to quickly attach and detach the pistol grip ball head, I've used this 1 4th to 3 8 of an inch screw adapter. I've screwed it in and glued it to a couple of pieces of plywood with epoxy, which in turn are then glued and screwed to the aluminum pipe. I've also attached a metal bracket to act as a stop for when I set the head back to its initial position, and I've used a recall spring for the tilt lock. Now I'll show you how I built it. With a table saw, I cut the two pieces that make up the bottom of the stand. Now I mark the diagonals to find the center of the piece, as well as the position of all of the screws. I drill holes for the screws using a countersink bit. I also drill the center of the piece. This hole will allow me to rotate the piece on an axis in the bandsaw, and cut the two round bottom pieces. I work out the radius of the circle by measuring it from the saw blade to the rotation axis, and cut the pieces little by little, I cut the bottom piece again. This recess will house the weight plate that will act as a counterweight. Now I can glue the two bottom pieces together. I cut the rest of the stand's pieces and use this opportunity to sand all the edges. With the router, I make grooves to lift the support when needed. I run it through twice to avoid pushing the router too hard. Now we're ready to put the stand together. First, I attach these pieces that will act as a guide for the lifting system. Once they're in place, I make sure it runs smoothly, and then I mark and drill the position of the locking screw. Having checked its position, I screw the lifting system to the bottom of the stand. I'll use some mushroom head square neck screw so that it won't turn when tightening the knobs.
Now I'll build the upper elevation and tilt head. I glue the printable templates on the plywood, drill all the holes and cut the parts with a bandsaw. With the belt sander, I finish shaping the teeth on this part. I drill holes in these other parts, through which the aluminum pipe will slide. I ensure the movement is smooth and put all the tilt head parts together with screws. Now I'll make the locking system for the aluminum pipe. In order to lock the pipe, I'll screw this metal plate in. By tightening the screw knob, the plate will bend until the pipe is locked. I've put the part in its place and attached the tilt head to the support using two screws that serve as axes. Now it's time to make the lever that will lock the camera and the aluminum pipe at an angle. I cut it with a bandsaw and make adjustments with a belt sander. I mark the position of the screw that will function as rotation axis. I'll also use a self-locking nut here. After placing the recall spring, I screw in another two parts to serve as handle so that using the lock lever is more comfortable. Finally, I'll place the counterweight plate. 